Hey everyone, I'm Norn Queen Alexis and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at another one of the armies in my collection. That's right, Space Marines, but blue. So right off the bat, I do want to say this. I did not paint the majority of this army. In fact, I would say that I painted maybe 10% of this army. So no credit. I painted this full army. Yes, I painted this full army. Oh wait, no, I lied. This was painted by my buddy Geeko. And I think that's it for the Space Marines. There might be a few other models in here, but I would say I painted 99% of this army versus almost none of this army. But I did do a lot of conversion work. So this is an army I bought from my buddy Marius, and then I added my own twist to. This is the army that I consider my competitive army. Mostly because I take three units of Thunderwolf Cavalry. And if you look right over there, you will see Kovu in a shoe. I don't know why he does this, but that's what he likes to do. Anyway, back to the army itself. So the majority of this army I don't use in, co uh, in games. Um, I'm still looking for a chance to, but I just haven't. <clears throat> like I said, I play primarily um, competitive with this army. So what did I do in this army? Well, I converted all of them, did all the base work on most of these miniatures uh, for the Thunderwolves. Uh, there's a few that I didn't, and I didn't want to change them because they look nice, like that one. Uh, but I did do the bulk of the work throwing Marines together and putting them on these bases. So you might be asking yourself, Alexis, why are there dinosaurs in your Space Wolf army? And the answer is because it's really fucking cool. And salamanders really should have their own special chapter of riding dinosaurs, goddammit. I want space fantasy. That's what this whole setting is. Oh, but it's sci-fi. Yeah, demons don't exist in sci-fi. That makes it a space fantasy. And the power of thought manifesting into reality is not sci-fi at all. That, that is strictly fantasy. But anyway, I wanted Space Wolves riding dinosaurs, so I got it, damn it. So let's take a look at what's in this army itself, and I'll start with the stuff that I did because I really like it. Uh, we have a unit of Thunderwolves back there with a uh, Wolfguard battle leader on Thunderwolf with um, Thunderhammer and Stormshield. All of them have Stormshields, and you'll notice that a vast majority of them actually have jump packs. And this is because a lot of these were Sternguard veterans originally, and then I put dinosaurs next to them to convert them into Thunderwolf cavalry. Technically, these models are a little bit too small for Thunderwolves, but that's why I have the oversized one in here to kind of balance it out. Um, most people at the tournaments, they just look at this and they're just like, fucking awesome and don't care. Um, but yeah, they, they are just super fun. So uh, in here we have uh, Rag... No, this is Ragnar Blackmane. That is, I know his name. His name is something, but we're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. I'm going to find his name really quickly. Hang on. Uh, whoops, I am in the wrong army, but... Oh, yeah, and my list is called Jurassic Bark. That is Harold Deathwolf. So this is my stand-in for Harold Deathwolf. It's the special edition lieutenant given a fourth edition company... Um, 4th edition uh, Space Marine jump pack of the captains, the master of the... Whichever one had that jump pack. That's a special edition jump pack I gave him. It's a resin jump pack, so it sucks. Um, but yeah, so that's who that is. Then this squad, we have a captain with Thunderwolf. And this model Marius did a phenomenal on. I did not do this model. It is amazing. I painted the raptor next to it. You'll see some of the raptors are painted extremely well. Those are not by me. Do you see that one? That one's by me. There's a slight difference. Skill level is the difference. I can't get those fine lines the way everyone else does it. I just, I, I don't know why, but I just can't do it. Uh, I did paint the bigger raptors though. And these are from the Lizardmen or Seraphon army in Warhammer Age of Sigmar. And this is a much better use of Age of Sigmar models than playing Age of Sigmar. I said it. I said it. I'm joking, obviously. 
so we have two squads of Thunderwolf cavalry with a Wolfguard battle leader on Thunderwolf. There's a captain there. And then the third squad, all the same. Like, look at these models. He's got a broken thunder hammer. I gotta repair that. But like, I wanted, I wanted such a dynamic army that really stood out into 40k, especially with Space Marines. Because while this is cool, this is very line and generic looking compared to the Space Wolves. And I feel like with Space Wolves, you can do this kind of creativity. And it doesn't seem, uh, it doesn't seem like it's, it's out of the ordinary for them. So we have Logan Grimnar riding a source uh, with a little creek underneath him. I did... I, I am very happy with these uh, this base design. This is the uh, water effect from Army Painter uh, on top of a white base that is blotchy, then overed with a contrast of Tesseract blue because I wanted the darker blue for Icelandic water. So it has this... It has this look of their Icelandic versus, yeah, that was the intent. I wanted the water to look more like Icelandic deep water. Um, so yeah, he's just surfing on that thing. I tried to make a better like stand for him, but everything I tried to build fell off. So he kind of just has this and I gave him a little storm shield made out of what was left of the source because why not? This model in its entirety, and I'm very proud of it, I painted myself. I painted the dinosaur, I did the conversion, I did the base. I'm very proud of this model. So then uh, let's go over here. We have a, a scout squad. And yeah, I know a lot of people are going to be like, uh, Lexus, those are Reavers. I run them as scouts because Reavers were supposed to be the goddamn scouts and they really should not have remade the scout box. It's really dumb that they brought back scouts when they made Primera scouts. Eh. This is um, blue from Jurassic Park, uh, Jurassic World. That is the original raptor from Jurassic Park. The next squad has the raptor from Jurassic Park uh, 3 with the red crest on its face. And then this one is the top series Jurassic Park uh, comic Velociraptor, the third, um, the third uh, group of raptors that's on Isla Sorna. They have a missile launcher, and that's it. Sometimes I run them as wolf scouts, and when I do, I take out two more raptors that have a thunder hammer and an um, infernal pistol just sitting on their base. I like to imagine that uh, the space wolves would be dumb enough to give the raptors, like, heavy weapons, and the raptors would be smart enough to use them. Not against anybody else, but, you know, just use them. Then we have a unit of blade guard veterans, and they have two uh, pranodon slash pterodactyl creatures with them. And I did the bases on these. I did not paint them, but I did those bases and I'm very proud of that. But these guys just act as blade guard veterans for the army itself. And when these guys start dying, I usually take these ones first. Same with the raptors in this squad. They usually die first. Then we have a unit of just Fenrisian wolves. These are the old cold one models. We have Ragnar Blackmane chilling here. We have a captain in uh, a captain with sword and board. We have a blade guard ancient. We have Arjack Rockfist. We have this guy who's using all lightning. We have this, and this is one of the coolest miniatures ever. I I wish I converted this. This was done by Marius. It looks absolutely phenomenal. It just kind of sucks that this model is really bad. We have a couple of um the uh, oh my god I forgot the snipers names. Some Eradicators, and I converted up uh, their multi melters because all I did was just cut off a couple of multi melters and just throw them on there, the end pieces. There's my Biologus, who got removed from the army one week after I converted them, so I was mad about that. We have an um, Iron Wolf. What is this guy called? Um, it's a character version of the Tech Priest, Tech Marine. Iron Priest. Iron Priest. Thank you, Brain. Then we have a Tech Marine standing next to him, Blade Guard Ancient. We only have five Wolfen, and I I know that these are better than Blade Guard Veterans for this army, but my god, do they look like really stupid. I really hate these miniatures. And I'm trying to find something to replace them with that fits a more dinosauristic theme. 
And if you have any ideas, I, I was originally thinking of having guys riding these things uh, on the smaller base for them. I don't know yet. I have to figure it out. Maybe like scouts or like just berserkers on top of them. I don't know how I want to do it yet. Got a couple of aggressors, a couple of intercept interceptors. Uh, what's left of the Reaver squad? Bikes and a bike chaplain back there. We have the old thing that I ran as Logan Grimnar, uh, which is a lance beater. We have a lancer or a gladiator. We have a murder fang right here. This is a converted model that Marius did. It looks absolutely amazing. Then we have um, Bjorn the Fellhanded. I typically run him with Laz Cannon, but I've been liking the Frost Weapon. I think it's very underrated. Then we have the Dreadnought with these board and axe. I think this one looks stupid. It would look much better as a Redemptor. This Redemptor Dreadnought is absolutely fucking insane. Uh, it, it is crazy well detailed. And then there's another one right behind it. So this is where the three Redemptors from the last video are. We have a group of 10 Terminators. Um, they're not good in this army at all. Some Hellblasters, and that's pretty much it. This army is absolutely incredible, and so much conversion work went into this army to make it what it is. And Marius did an insanely good job on the paint job on all of these guys. Uh, the only thing I painted was some dinosaurs and him. That is the only thing I can take credit for. I also painted these guys and these raptors. That's it. Uh, I, I, I did paint this. I did paint that and I did some freehand on it and I think it came out pretty good. My freehand sucks. Marius' freehand is insane because he even has like letters written on his tanks. Like, this is nuts. You should see his 30k army. I should do a video on his 30k army. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did uh, and you want to support the channel, please check out the Patreon link in the description down below. As always, I'm Norn Queen Alexis. I love you guys. Bye.